Hello. Hello and good day, everyone. My name is Sebastian, and this is the Novice Prospect. Oh my goodness. Um, apologies. My recording software is going absolutely bonkers. Anyways, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Episode 2, right? We have gone and done the intro the last three hours, and it was painful. Yes, it, it, it was painful in, in the regard that, yeah, it was long, right? Considering it was just an intro, yeah. Um, we're going to go and continue on our quest, right? And if we remember, we are at the moment, we are Layla, right? And this is like in the real world, if you will, we're, so we're not in the Animus. Um, and so, yeah, there, there's a bit of a backstory here. Um, and we, we shall go and see. And for those that haven't played Origins or Odyssey, you know, Assassin's Creed games, um, hold on to your socks. They're coming up on this channel as well. Um, and yeah, I know I'm playing in, in the wrong order, but Valhalla was my latest one. I really, really, really wanted to play it. So this is why we're doing this series. Anyways, let's go and continue. Okay, so we basically we found Eivor, and and this is why we're here, and, and basically how this works with the Animus in general is we need DNA from the ancestor to yeah basically uh, be able to dive into their memories and yeah you know thusly actually uh, experience what they've experienced and. When I, just if I see something that can be examined, I will quickly. Um, Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Okay, so let's. Oh, we can't even go in there. Oh, that's a shame. Just out of curiosity, just uh, anything else in this? Like, it seems a fairly big environment. Oh, well, you can sit down. I should do this more often. Relaxing. Yeah, we we all should, by the way. <coughs> oh, I like that. You can see the clouds sort of passing over and fading. It's lovely. Um, anyways, I don't think there's much else here to discover, so we're going to go back into the house. And no, yes, I have seen the outhouse, and no, we're not going to visit it. Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. <laughs> True. So what you call it, Sean? Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Let's talk to Sean. I think that's the name. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. Yeah. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we oh. win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you and it takes more than one satellite to take down the whole of GPS for a whole continent, as it were. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. And I imagine this is from... Origins. I... I cannot... honestly remember. So there's a laptop we can use. Okay, so... yeah. You know, we have a lot of lore. Um, if anyone wants to read it, I am going to put it up on the screen and you can pause it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do it quickly for everyone. Okay. As I say, all you need to do is just quickly pause and then 
and you can read the raw content. Okay, so then about the Staff of Eden, Staff of Hermes. So yeah, it is in, oh, it was actually Odyssey, Cassandra, yes. Okay, and that's basically something that happens literally in, 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 or in sorry, Odyssey. Um, secure share, nothing in there, my stuff, uh, we've got pictures apparently, nope. We've got pictures apparently. Nicely rendered, like I, I like it now. Um, something in a trash can. Ooh. Oh, fuck, corrupted. Okay. Uh huh. Um, ah, she never finished that letter. Okay. Um, we have a mailbox. Uh, <laughs> I don't have COVID, no, and I'm well isolated, it's just three of, of us traveling together, staying out of sight. Um, okay, um, again, uh, people can just pause the video and read the contents of this mail, of these mails, um, Okay, so that's a bit ominous. Um, and then we have files. Files. Okay. So this is obviously what we're going to do as we are in England. Um, there is animus anomalies, and, and these have been a staple sort of since the first Assassin's Creed, and same with the pieces of Eden. Um, okay, cool. And then we have a session report. Oh. And I'm not going to read it all out again. People can pause it. <clears throat> and we have a bit of media. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. Um. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. Uh, what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? Yep. It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want. Or, no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it, to choose submission for example, you know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. 
Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. We ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... like they're doing something. When the hard work is... well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process, and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you, and Bex, and Lucy, that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. <laughs> I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? But there was very fundamental truths there, I think. Um, so what else? John to Layla. Layla, thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences, so, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total brat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, 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 okay, I'm done anyway, so turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. and then another one from Desmond I think we're going to leave that for like next time or something um, not too worried about it let's go and yeah jump back into the Animus if we can um, I'm sure we need to probably talk to her for a second feeling okay? better but I'm worried that it could happen again the two data streams I mean I can't promise it won't I barely understand it myself it felt like two minds fighting over one brain it hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Well, okay. Let's... Enter. So let's go and rejoin Eivor. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? 
Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. Yeah, we have already heard this. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. And again, you know, here's the sort of thing that we do in Assassin's Creed in general. There is something that's wrong with the world, and we go back into the past into the, the the character that had the influence over this event in the past uh, or you know had an interaction with a certain object or artifact and we go and try and retrace the steps that is essentially what assassin's creed is right this whole idea of ancestral memory embedded within dna that through some magical technology you could basically go and visit those memories as if you have been there and, you know, it's a, it's a nice concept, but I seriously doubt that DNA has that sort of, yeah, capacity. I mean, this is all about memory capacity, if you think about it. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's a lot we obviously don't understand yet. So, it may well be a thing. You never know. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars. Hold standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready Cap. for whatever these green thumb fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragna know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Hmm. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid gob? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! So, yeah, we're now in England, basically. What are they doing? Ritual drowning. <laughs> are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We can storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Zach. 
There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. So there's going to be a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Nope. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. <laughs> I like how he was very non-committical about this. So, um, and I think now we're actually getting to the stage where, yeah, we're, we're gonna pay heed to the title of the series. We're going to be sneaky. Right. For me, again, the, the aim is I don't want to be involved in more fights than I have to. Now, even if I have superior fighting power, I would rather yeah, um, get, you know, an understanding of the arena first or the area um, and then deal with, deal with threats as they come along. Um, and I need someone come in here. Okay, you are going to come here and we're going to assassinate you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so bad, so bad, so bad. This is not what I wanted. Um. Come on. Really not what I wanted to do here. I wanted this to be sneaky. Oh. How could you have missed that, Eivor? Like, I had him targeted and everything. Right, I'm gonna have to just... have to take him down like this. Okay, this was not sneaky at all, and I do not like it. Like, if I was playing on non-recorded, I would have restarted by now. Right. There we go. There's another one. Where are you? Oh, there. No. Uh, this this was absolutely terrible and I appreciate that. Um certainly not what I had in mind. I have no idea why Eivor decided to do an aggressive attack there because I was in a hidden state and normally you would imagine that she would do a sneaky um attack. You know, block the road, road chains, but this is actually fairly straightforward if I remember right. Because all I have to do is just Shoot that. Oh. Yep. One and two. The path is clear. And I think I can just literally jump in. Are you just gonna come a bit closer? Right, right and back onto the boat. Yeah, I wasn't impressed with this. I I really was not happy with that. Okay, but it's it's done. Um, so this is. See, now we have an, an issue where I have specked completely along the Raven Path. Okay. So if we done a full reset, okay. Um, I understand this is. That's melee. That's ranged. Um, yes. I don't think it did that. Did it? So, um, 
So these are actual skills, right? Crit. Fire resistance. Just give me a second here, guys. I am trying to... Ooh, I like this. And then there's... Okay, so we're going to do the bear alignment. We're going to do a party thing, which is LB, okay. Uh, not going to carry, but uh, care about so, uh, shields. Um, ooh. Okay. Um, don't want to drown filled straight up. Doesn't need it. Uh, we'll raise their shield with you, which may be helpful as we traverse the world. Um, okay, but now we're not going to spend it all up there. What's, what's going on here? This is Luta. Um, absolutely. Um, looting food. Well, I'm going to have a, a, a sprint. Uh, yeah, I like traversal. Uh, critical chance. Okay, not so much here. Um, that's Raven alignment. Assassin carry. Way of the Raven. Yeah, we're gonna have this for sure. Um, I like the assassin slate, and I like this. So it's a bus outside with a broken air valve. Been going around for a couple of days now. <laughs> Um, so what else do we have here? Melee damage. Um, I think the idea of more health is good. Um, I think I'm going to go with me melee damage. Crit chance. Stun. Okay, what else do we have here? Heavy resistance. Fire resistance. And more crit damage. Yeah, let's go with that and see what we can... Increase your mastery with great swords and short swords. No, 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 like what? No, I'm using axes. Where did I miss something? Can we reset this point? No, I mean this point. Right, and acquire this. All right, and so the reason for doing all that is because we did get a lot of gear that is actually bear or berserk outline right um, and so I would like to see uh, this is a raven aligned that's a I think this is these are 200 I think yes they are so uh, not doing that <clears throat> uh, bone biter uh, we could use a guard if we wanted to, but I, I really don't want to. Um, so, and then I need to go in this hand. Now we're going to put uh, Varen's axe, right? We have also bear aligned breaches and bracers. And we also have a superior helmet as bear aligned. Okay. Uh, now, nah, okay. Um, then apparently we have new things. Okay, we have a collectible. Um, okay, back to hide them at the Hidden Ones Bureau in my settlement. Okay, once we've built it, like that, that's that's the thing that's gonna have to get built first. Um, abilities. What do we have here? So melee abilities. Was okay. Throwing axe. A sign. Uh, a seems fine. Okay. How throwing axes at all enemies in range. Woohoo! That sounds quite nice actually. Um So what else? Uh yeah, so we need to reach the settlement. And yeah, no, this is fine. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. Melee abilities is on right trigger. Okay. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. 
I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, Odd. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, pull back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Yeah, you would certainly expect more activity. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. And, and if I remember right, and I haven't played too much into this. Um, they basically buggered off because there wasn't much here. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Okay. So, but this is their encampment, so it is not just not very well done. Speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! Yes, so let's let's go and meet these people. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? Mm. You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Hey! You're for dogs. Let's finish them! Kill the you wicked bastards! You have oh, what was that? Oh, you dirty stinking so-and-so. Come here. Anyone else here? Oh, up there. Are we done here? Let 
Come here. Stupid Englishman trying to mess with the Danes. I mean, come on. How did they think this was going to end? All of you. I want no more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Okay. I wonder if there is a... No, nah, doesn't look like it's a top entrance. So oh, we shall just go... And do a bit of clean up here. In here, those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, Remnant. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What do you think? Yeah, you know where this is going. We could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. Awesome. So yeah, no um... strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends. Welcome okay. to your new home. So, but the settlement is coming together, that's all good to see. I mean, look at that. Very nice, very nice indeed. And yeah, so that's basically the end of the intro, I would imagine, because, you know, this, this is all basically still a bit storyline and, you know, trying to introduce us to their new environs. And now we're going to obviously get introduced to a room that's going to be ours, maybe, something like that. 
you know, the usual things that happen in an Assassin's Creed game. Now come. Ranthi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? Yeah, of course. Cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. Okay, so we've got a quest to do. And we've got more skill points, um, which is quite nice. Um... I was already running in the right direction, roughly. Right, and here's Gunnar. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, I'm here to help you, actually. Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. Okay, so... Take command of the longship. Yeah, we shall do that. Um, and we're basically going to go and do this quest. As it's a little raid. Nothing, nothing too taxing. And we're basically going to do a monastery raid, right? I know it is not very Christian, but apparently it is what we do in this game. So. Can't raise the sail here. The and there we go. Ah, nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. And the cinematic camera for a while. And it's actually not a hit this depth of field effect. Um, but anyway, so yeah, and they're gonna play a bit of music in the background. Um now, as far as I'm aware, Assassin's Creed music in the background here is stream save. Um, and obviously, if that should change, then I shall go and switch it over to stories permanently. I'm going to go and rate these guys. I think this is what we're after. Right, and, and then these guys behind us, they're going to just follow us. Um, Lucky. 
Right, there's no way of, of sneaking through this realistically, not with them announcing our arrival, so I'm just gonna go full on Viking here. Right, um, swinging both axes. <laughs> Okay, anyone else? Oh, apparently you are a thing, so you're gonna go... And I think that's pretty much it. So we've got treasures to loot. I'm just gonna go break through that door. Um, do a bit of the ore insight, see what I've missed. Oh. Oh, there's more of them, but that's fine. Help me out here. Okay, so we've got some raw materials. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're, we're going about all of that. Nobody. So we're going to have to do a bit more cleanup here. So I think he's a boss man. Ooh. Ooh, that was a nice decapitation. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Can we please not do that? Hey, you. Will you please just die? No. Ah, for goodness sakes. Splinter shields. Ooh. And, and I will help you too, of course. Hmm. Always be looting. Why am I... Um, is... It's literally not picking up, okay. Is that because there's still some of these guys around? Let's see. this open. Come, with this. Nice. Um, it seems that there may be something here. We are done here. Come on. Yeah, I, I do feel we've missed something. Like... Okay, it's not... Maybe we did pick it up and it just didn't indicate correctly, but okay. Um, I have a feeling there is more here. Just... I'm not interested in killing civilians. Um, it certainly feels like, yeah, see? See, 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 there's something here. I knew it. Okay. What's the other thing? I don't want to read that. Are there two things to read? Right, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand. But there is another yellow. Like... Oh, that's 340 meters away. So I'm not really caring too much about that. And... What we shall do is simply return to the longship. As I say, I have no interest in killing the civilians. Like, why would I? Okay. 
is a long ship. Which is perfect. Um, so get on the long ship and we're going to take command of it. Is everyone aboard? Let's go. Now uh, we should be fine here, so open sail. Um, follow the river and go to the quest objective. Yeah, of course they did, Dag. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's what well, I would have said too. Sailing here is not possible. I can't raise the sail yet. Him. That's what's the matter. And I couldn't be bothered to let, let you stock. So you, you can do that yourself, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and so the way this works, right, um, and this is true for all the interactions here in this village, you get this sign, you interact with it, and then it gives you a build cost. You spend that build cost, and voila, we should have a forge right now. Like, Yes, indeed. Right, a blacksmith. Right. Um, but now I feel, because we've done quite a successful raid there, ah, we can do more. Labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. Okay, cool. Let's Yes, yes. Right. And now if I remember correctly, there is other shops that can be opened. I just need to orient myself a little bit. Uh, okay, it wasn't up here. Okay, I think you you're something that can be built on. I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Uh speak to her. Um tell me about what you do here. I buy and sell all manner of items. What's mm. more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders, meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want right here. But That's I awesome. cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. Okay. I must we shall do so. Now. Goodbye. Okay, let's. Um. No, oh, I'm sure she has a sign. Yes, there. See. And again, so we've got a build cost, and I am. Um, so we don't have all that much in resource, um. So we can afford one more build. That's essentially, I think, what this is getting at. That's the forge. What well, I'm really after, and I'm hoping I can find it. I think it's up here. Maybe him. Um, is it? No, this, this is the Assassin's Bureau. I'm not after that either. What I would want to go and build, I think is Is it you? No, it is not, not you. I'm looking for Rowan's building, basically. Yeah. Um, I want a horsey stable thing. And I know, I know for a fact he's around here somewhere. Um, so this is not it. And I know I said something about me using the raven, but you know, I, I find I learn better when I actually go and explore for a little bit and have a look at things. Yes, it is him. Right, fantastic. I think... No, this is the barracks. 
can help me to recruit Yom's Vikings. Um, but not really what I'm after. Like, at all. Um, what about this here? What's this? Oh, a decorative element. Oh, alright, okay. <laughs> Berserker, Bear Totem, Berserker's Arsenal, Berserker Practice. Uh, could go with this. A bear, uh, bear Totem. Yep. That's fine. Um, it hasn't cost us anything, so I, I didn't mind doing that. Is it maybe up here? Like, I'm sure he has a little area somewhere. No, it's not you. Um, ah, ah, I, I see horses, I see tent. Um, I think this is actually what I'm looking for. Right, I can't see him at the moment, but I have a feeling. Stable and avia. Okay, yes, we can. And you, you can manage your horses and your raven. <clears throat> That's really all I wanted, because now I can select a new horsey. And we're, we're going to change the horsey, because it's not going to be a horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'll speak to Sigurd in a minute. Just give me... Uh, I want to train... No, 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 no. Um, is, is this... Uh, Until next time. Is this... Um, it's not a skills thing. It is... Well, maybe. Hmm. Now, I know there's a thing where I can change my mount. It's gotta be. A little poem. First week's observation from the Ragnarsons. Um... So definitely not, definitely not what I'm looking for. A um, little confused. Can we speak again? Let me see your stock. What have you got for me today? Yes, this this is this is what I was looking for because we own a wolf that we could. I mean, there's a unicorn, but oh, I, I think Hachi would be awesome. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Yes, please. Now I want to train my wolf. Do a bit of training? Absolutely. Uh, mount training. Training your mount will unlock new abilities and improve your riding experience. Cool. So what can we do? Uh, swimming lessons. You are an excellent rider. Takes 150 off that currency. Oh, it's silver. Okay. Um, increase the swim speed or we could say endurance training or strength. Uh, I feel like I want to go with endurance and strength. I, I don't know how this works when... So we're going to try... What happens if we increase that? Right, okay. So you, you can't undo training. Which, okay, you know, it's, it's fine. Now we know that for next time. Um, I have I to go. Take my leave. So long. Take care. Yeah, see, now I would imagine I should... Yes. Woohoo! Yes. Big wolf. <laughs> yes. Dire. Hmm? Dire wolf. Yeah, maybe a dire, a dire wolf, but he's called Hati, and I love it. I absolutely love this. Yes. <laughs> now I'm a happy man. I can go and speak to Sigurd. Nice. Guy's bigger than me. Like, I literally go up to his shoulders. That is a big wolf. And I think, okay. Yeah, 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 I know. But I'm on the wrong side. 
Sigurd, just... What are you howling for? Because I left you alone two minutes. Come on. It's not that bad. You're a wolf. You can manage yourself, I'm sure. So, yeah, yeah. I know I'm doing janky stuff here. I'm, I'm trying to just get around the building and I can't even get underneath. <laughs> and, you know, this is actually really disturbing. I hear a clip-clop of hooves. Honestly, no, they should have changed that. No, no, no. Oh, that's just ruined the whole experience for me. Yeah, so we're going to change it back to a horse next episode. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. <laughs> this is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Okay, and we're going to leave that for next time, because it's about time now for calling the episode quits um would like to thank everyone for watching and you know interacting if you've done so uh please leave a like and subscribe that's always much appreciated and and it helps the algorithm you know to show you guys the right videos and help me understand what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see until next time thanks for watching again and peace out